There's a new energy drink on the market, and today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to do a review and a blood glucose test on the Coca-Cola energy drink, and we'll get into it right after this. Hey, what's up family? My name is Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel, and make sure you hit that little bell icon so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. So recently, Anthony and I were at the store and I came across this brand new energy drink from Coca-Cola. It's Coca-Cola Energy. And they had a zero sugar version. So I figured, why not pick it up and do a review on it? Now, if you're new to our channel, I really enjoy energy drinks. For the most part, I drink the Zevia energy drinks and occasionally I will pick up a Bang uh, because I like them and they're a little bit more readily available than the uh, Zevias. Uh, but Rachel isn't so much into energy drinks, which is why I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to do this one and I could do the blood glucose test. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this one a little bit different. In addition to the blood glucose test, I'm gonna do a five things review on this. And the blood glucose test is gonna be a little different too because normally what we did was we just do a blood glucose test. But right now I'm wearing a Freestyle Libre, which is a continuous glucose monitor. And it doesn't monitor your blood, it monitors the fluids in your skin. So sometimes uh, there's a little bit of a difference between uh, when you ingest something and when it actually reacts on your CGM as opposed to in a blood. So I figured it'd be a cool idea to see how does it react with the CGM, how does it react with the blood, and we're gonna compare them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the, we're gonna do a test now, I'm gonna drink this, I'll put it through the five things review while we're waiting, and then we're gonna do another test at 30 minutes, at one hour, and then possibly at two hours, depending on what that one hour mark is. I feel if the one hour mark, it hasn't gone up, I'm not worried about the two more hour mark. If it has gone up at the one hour mark, we'll come back again and check at the two hour mark, just to see like, has it come down and where it's come down from. Uh, so let's start off with our test and where we're starting. Okay, so again, this is the Freestyle Libre. So this is actually has the CGM and it also does the blood glucose test. So we're gonna start off with, let's find out what the CGM is. I will also let you know that generally uh, the CGM is about a 10 to 20 point difference between that and the blood. Although I find at nighttime, it's not. At nighttime, it's only like two or three points difference. So it's kind of weird. So, okay, so here we go. So we're gonna check our, hit check glucose. Gonna, the CGM is right here on me. And it's saying my CGM score is a 93. So let's go ahead and check our blood. Now I already cleaned my fingers with alcohol. Okay, and it's saying my blood glucose is a 79. So like I said, there is generally a difference between the CGM and the blood. Um, I don't know why. It just, it, it is always consistently, you know, somewhere around 15 to 20 points higher from one to the other. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna put this off to the side. So it is currently 1240 right now on a Sunday. And we're gonna go ahead and taste and drink this. So this is the zero sugar cherry flavor. Um, I believe they have a regular flavor, but I was in Wawa, they didn't have the regular one, they had the cherry. It's not bad. Um, it definitely has the taste of an energy drink. It's kind of like the cross between an energy drink and um, a Coke Zero, a, a Cherry Coke Zero, obviously. I don't know, this, this, the cherry flavor is a little medicine-y. Yeah, I don't know. 
it, it, I mean, again, it's not bad. I, it's got a better flavor than a lot of the other energy drinks I've ever had. Um, so let's do this. I'm gonna pull over a mug. I'm gonna put this in here so that I can read the ingredients. So what we'll do is while we're waiting for the 30 minutes, I'm gonna put this through the five things review and then we'll just kind of tack on at the end of it, we'll tack on all of the different blood glucose tests. And then we'll do the number five, which is what I recommend it at the end of it. Okay, so uh, if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So like I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through uh, the first four right now We'll do the blood glucose tests. And then at the end, after the one or two hour mark, we'll do number five of would I recommend it? Because I'm not gonna recommend it if it skyrockets my blood glucose. Okay, so number one, the ingredients. So the ingredients in this are carbonated water, less than 2% of natural flavors, caffeine, guarana extract, vitamins B3 and B6, which is coming from niacinamide and pyridoxine hydrochloride. I'm sure I'm pronouncing those wrong. Then we have acetylsulfame, potassium, sucralose, citric acid, caramel coloring, sodium bicarbonate, phosphoric acid, sodium benzate, and then potassium sorbate to protect the taste. Okay, so the ingredients. Not the cleanest in the world, though I didn't expect them to be the cleanest. Number one, it's a Coca-Cola product. And number two, it's an energy drink. I mean, the Zevia energy drinks are pretty clean, but when you get into the bangs and stuff like that, they're not. They do usually have a bunch of chemicals in them. So a couple things about some of the ones in here, natural flavors. I'm personally not opposed to natural flavors. I know some people are. Um, then we have uh, the acetylsulfame potassium. That is known to spike glucose in some people as well as have an insulin response. So that's something to be aware of. You have sucralose. I'm personally not against sucralose. I know some people uh, don't want it. There are studies that show that it can kill uh, gut bacteria. But those studies are on mice and the amount of sucralose they were feeding those mice is astronomical. I mean, more than you would consume in probably a month, let alone in a sitting. I kind of take that study and I toss it out. Also, using hand sanitizer will kill uh, your gut bacteria. So I'm personally not against sucralose. It is zero on the glycemic index. Now, one thing I would say about sucralose is people confuse sucralose with Splenda. They're not the same thing. Splenda has sucralose in it, and then they bind it to maltodextrin and dextrose so that you can measure it cup for cup like sugar, but they're not the same thing. Sucralose is zero on the glycemic index and shouldn't affect you, whereas Splenda will absolutely affect you. Uh, then we have caramel coloring. I personally do like to avoid caramel coloring, um, just lots of chemicals, cancer effects, things like that. So not the greatest ingredients in the world. Let me take another sip. So number two, uh, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Okay, so a serving size in this is one can and a can is 12 ounces, zero calories, zero fat, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero proteins. So absolutely it does keto based on a nutrition label. Nothing else to say about that. So number three, how does it taste? Um, it's okay. It, it's definitely got a little bit, at least this is the cherry flavor. It's got a little bit of a medicine taste. Um, like I said, it's kind of a cross between an energy drink and a Coke Zero. I probably would not like, maybe the regular one isn't bad, but the, the cherry one definitely has a little bit of a cherry medicine taste. Like almost like, a, almost like you added Robitussin to Coca-Cola. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Like if you're looking for an energy drink, most energy drinks don't have the greatest taste in the world. It's okay. So number four, how much does it cost? So I bought this at Wawa and it was $2.75 for this can, which I kind of feel is a bit expensive. When I look at the Bang energy drinks, you can usually get them for about $2.50, but they're a nice big can. Uh, the Zevia energy drinks are usually right around $2 a can. So it's a little expensive, especially considering it's a Coca-Cola product and it's not super clean ingredients. I would expect because it's a Coca-Cola product from a big company like that, that the price would be a little bit cheaper, uh, but it's not. I paid $2.75. I'm gonna finish up this last sip right here. We're gonna come back in 30 minutes and we're gonna check our blood sugar test for a 30 minute mark. We're back. It is 
122. We're going to do the 30 minute check right now. Uh, I'll put along the bottom a reminder of what the previous scores were. I believe we started off at what a 93 on the CGM and then a 79 on the blood glucose. So let's go ahead and open these. I do like the fact that these are individually sealed as opposed to the ones that just usually come in the little thing. So we'll go ahead. The one thing about this blood meter is it does take a significant amount of blood compared to some of the other ones. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess it's bad because you have to get a lot of blood, but sometimes I think it's better because it gets a better sample as opposed to just a little tiny drop. Okay, so it is saying my blood glucose is a 74, which means it's gone down. What is that? Five points. So let's go ahead and check the CGM. And the CGM is still at a 94. I don't know if that's focusing or not, but yeah, CGM is at a 94. So CGM is pretty much holding steady down, what, down a point or up a point, and then the blood glucose is uh, actually down. So we're gonna come back in another 30 minutes for the one hour mark check. Okay, it is 1.55, one hour after finishing the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar Energy Drink. Little pop-up right here, reminding us of what the previous glucose results are. We will start off with the CGM. Again, I have a CGM monitor mounted here below my arm. It's the Freestyle Libre. And the CGM is now a 91. 91. So that is lower than the previous two tests. Now we'll go ahead and uh, test the blood. I'm afraid I'm going to rip this thing because the tear for these is in the middle instead of on the end. Okay. I don't feel like that pricked me enough. Try that again. There we go. I felt that one. Okay. I got a decent amount of blood there. Let's see. Blood glucose test, 79, 79. So I don't know, is that focusing? 79, 79. So we are pretty much right back where we started an hour ago at 79. So honestly, I don't even think there's any reason to come back and check it at the two hour mark. Number one, because I gotta wait for Rachel to get home and we need to do keto on the couch. Uh, but if it was going to go up, it would have gone up in this first hour. And pretty much we're seeing there was no increase in blood glucose or really on the CGM. So I'm not super worried about that. So let's do number five of the five things review. So number five is would we recommend that? Honestly, I have to say, I don't think I would recommend the Coke Zero Sugar Energy Drink. And obviously not because of the glucose test, because, I mean, there was no rise in glucose. If anything, we had a slight drop in it. And the drop could be a lot of different things. It could be the fact that I'm fasted at two o'clock in the afternoon. It could be the, a little bit of the cephalic insulin response because my body thought I was getting something really sweet. And so it released some insulin to counteract the sweetness that it thought it was getting. I'm not too concerned about that. Um, the reason I wouldn't recommend this is, is first of all, it doesn't taste super great. It tastes okay. It's got a little bit of a medicine-y taste. On uh, number two, I think it's expensive, $2.75 for this little tiny can. When I compare that to a Zevia energy drink, which has much better ingredients, um, is $2 a can. The Bang, which doesn't have better ingredients, but you get a lot more, is somewhere between two and two fifty, and sometimes you can get them even cheaper. It's somewhere like around a dollar fifty. Um, I just don't think it's worth it in that respect with how much I'm getting, for what I'm paying and then tack on, it doesn't have the greatest ingredients. But the last thing I'm gonna say about this is, we are an hour after drinking it and I've had zero, zero, zero energy increase. Usually if I drink a bang energy drink within 20, 30 minutes, like I'm flying off the walls. 
If I drink even a Zevia energy drink, I definitely feel an increase in energy. I feel no energy increase from drinking this. And so now that means I paid $2.75, consumed some caramel coloring and other ingredients that I may not like, um, and I got nothing out of it. For what? So I might as well have just drank a can of Coke Zero. I feel like that's all it did for me. The same thing I would get from drinking a Coke Zero, that's what I got out of drinking this. So now I do want to say with the glucose test results, these are testing on my own body. I do always suggest that if you have a question, test it on your own body. We don't test every single product we eat. We test things that I look at that think like, hey, that might increase my glucose. I'm curious. Um, and especially now that I'm running with the CGM right now, it's kind of interesting to see the differences between the CGM and having a blood glucose test. So that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment sections if you've tried this. Also let us know if there's any other energy drinks that you'd like us to try and possibly do a glucose test with. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye.